Hey guys, welcome to Faster and Louder. So today I am just gonna make a quick little video. Um, I'm actually just gonna be cleaning and sort of detailing um, the inner grill for my Javelin. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is, um, this is what goes behind the screen that's on the front right here. I'll pop up a picture real quick so you have a point of reference. But uh, I'm gonna be cleaning this up. These are very hard to find, especially in good shape. Luckily mine is in pretty decent shape. There's a couple of cracks here and there, like over here and some mounting points here, like where the top support goes across. But overall this is in really good shape. And I kind of just wanted to get it cleaned up a little bit um, before it's time to reassemble everything. So I'm just going to wash it real quick and uh, see how nice I can get it looking. Um, I may in the future take off these metal supports for the turn signals because they're a little crusty. It'd be nice to get them looking a little better. But I'm not really going to worry about that right in the moment. I just want to get this cleaned up a little bit. I'm just going to be using a basic setup, a little pail here, some basic car wash without any wax in it or anything. And I have a few detailing brushes, I'm just going to use a regular little uh, whatever you call these. And uh, I'm just going to kind of start getting down to business here, see how I can get it looking.
Okay, now that I have a basic clean on it, I am gonna go over it with uh, those detailing brushes I showed you. And I'm just gonna try to get into some of these fins here. There's just a bajillion fins to try to get into. Uh, I'm gonna get in some, some of these cracks up in here and just try to clean it up a little bit. Uh, so far, it's, it's cleaning up pretty decent. I mean, it looks good, wet. Uh, when it dries, it's probably gonna look faded again. It's kind of hard to tell there's some sun glare on this right now that you can't really see it too well. But um, yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna look a little faded, but I have a little trick for that that I'll show in just a little bit. I'm just gonna get a little bit of soapy water on this and uh, kind of get in there, see what I can do. Really just trying to break up the dirt a little bit. It doesn't have to be like, you know, sanitary exactly, but this will do a lot more than just that sponge could do on its own. I got in there with the brushes. I got in and all the fins and everything. I'm just going to rinse it off real quick, and then I'm going to let it dry. Okay. That's the last rinse. So, um, I think it's about as clean as it's going to get without, like, seriously scrubbing on it. And I don't really want to do that. I don't want to potentially damage something. So I'm just going to do this basic clean, and then I'm going to try something to kind of bring out some shine in it, possibly. Um, run out of sunlight here. It's getting a little late in the day here for January. Um, so I'm just going to finish it up and I'll bring it inside and try to get it under some lighting here and show what the final product looks like without all the glare in the background. So there's some of it that didn't look like it got super clean. Um, there's some dusty looking areas back there. So I think I'm just going to get some like simple simple green i can't talk man <laughs> i get some simple green and just like a shop towel and i'm going to kind of wipe, wipe it down and see if i can get some of that excess dirt off and then i'm going to put some final touches on it as you can see there's definitely signs of wear um this is an old grill and it sat for a very long time uh it's let's see 49 years old as of this year a few days ago technically um so yeah it's seen it's seen a couple of years and um a lot of those years were spent in a pole barn in washington and then before that it was in california sitting in the desert for a little bit so yeah it it's seen better days but i'm not completely done yet i'm gonna let this kind of dry up just a little bit little wet spots on there and then I'm gonna try something and see if I can bring it back a little bit. While that's drying, let me show you what I use. Um, I use this product. It's a Meguiar's Ultimate Black. Um, I use this and then there's a Mother's one. I have the same thing. It's like the, it's the same product by a different company, but uh, that's the Mother's version. You can use either one. It does the same thing. It basically just gets rid of some of the oxidation and old plastic and just reseals it. And also protects it too from future UV damage and everything. So this stuff works. I use it on the Challenger that I used to have on this channel. Um, it always, I mean, it lasts a, a pretty decent amount of time when you're taking it out uh, and driving it all the time. This car probably won't really be driven around a whole lot, <laughs> especially uh, for a little while. But um, yeah, this stuff lasts a while and it works really good so that's what we're going to use so one thing that you want to do before you start applying this back to black or ultimate black whichever brand you're using um you want to make sure that this is completely wet i mean completely dry <laughs> do not put this on something that's completely wet that, that goes against what i'm about to tell you um if it's wet when you apply it it'll actually kind of run a little bit so i turn this fan off for a second but uh, yeah, if it's wet and you apply this, it's gonna streak kind of and just looks bleh. So uh, just make sure it's dry. 
That way it can apply the way that it's supposed to and it'll be all even and it'll look nice. So I'm just gonna fi finish letting this dry up. One quick thing before you start is use a microfiber towel. It makes a big difference. You're also going to kind of want to use a clean part of the microfiber towel as much as you can. This stuff kind of like picks up a lot of that little stuff that just sits in there. So uh, you might notice that it's just picking up a lot of black stuff, which is basically just dirt and residue and broken down plastic. This is what it looks like, guys. This is under some very harsh lighting conditions. <laughs> it's still... It's still kind of dirty. I tried to get in there as best I could, but honestly, this is going to be something that would probably have to be cleaned uh, a few times to get it really nice. But uh, I'm going to take these off eventually anyways. I'm going to refinish these plates to hold on to the um, turn signals, and I'm going to try to get some of that like fogging out of the lenses there and all that. So that's why I'm not really going super crazy with it. I just wanted to see if I could get this like decently clean and uh, I think it's a good job. I mean, the grill covers all of this. The mesh grill covers the whole front of this besides the turn signal. So you don't really see this a whole lot behind, like behind it, but you know, it's just, it's the thought that counts and uh, it definitely will help it make it look like a deeper, richer black if you do clean and detail this. I'm gonna try to get this out and the sunlight or what's left of it and see if I can get that recorded. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot, honestly. I didn't think that it would turn out even that good. So I'm pretty happy with the results. I would have no problem throwing that back on the car when the time comes. But as you can see, there's a lot to go. A lot has been done already as well. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I highly recommend you do that. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment, and subscribe if you actually did like the video. Thanks a lot guys, take it easy.